Hello you guys, this is Evelyn. Um, if you guys cannot hear me clearly, I'm sorry because I'm trying to record this since 4 a.m. But unfortunately the microphone is not behaving as it should. <laughs> so, anyways, um, the Lord waking me up today, I don't know exact time, but when he was done with me, actually, when I wanted to, you know, get, get it over with, it was like, after he finished speaking to me, it was like 4 a.m. The reason I said when I wanted to get done over with, because sometimes the Lord gives me a vision, and then he's showing you all that is going to happen. It's not that you're frightened, but, you know, you see the disaster that's going to happen. You feel, you know, from one human to another, it's almost as if you feel affected too even though it's not it has nothing to do with you but you can't help but to feel bad you know for the majority of people that's going to be affected by it anyways as i said um the lord wake me up and he was speaking to me and i said lord speak your servant is listening and he keep on saying major magnetic shift major magnetic shift and then when i was saying say it too my lips were shivering and almost like just shaking like i wanted um to speak in tongue and because it was so powerful as he said it he showed me the map of the united states of america i mean it was like so vivid almost like when you're watching television i mean it's just so wide open it's just like wow and then as he showed me the map of the united states and he's saying major magnetic shift major magnetic shift then um he showed me part of the map um california i mean <coughs> excuse me and i see california split in three three pieces like three part is this when the shift happened i actually see it it just split three and three pieces um and i also when i said oh lord is is that the only part that would be affected and then he showed me like part of um i don't know if it's montana or somewhere in that area I see like a volcan volcanoes like a volcanic back to your what because it was I see the mountain and it was red and it was back to erupted and then as it showed me that I was like Lord is that the only part of the United States that would be affected by major disaster then he showed me another part like around I said around Virginia or something it's around Virginia or something then after that I was like Lord um, is that the only part of the United States that will be affected by a major disaster because I every time he showed me part of the map I would ask him is that the only part of the United States that will be affected then he was showing me more then when I asked him, because I have Florida, the reason I keep on asking him that because I live in Florida and Florida is very flat. There's no mountain, nothing. We live in a flat land and surrounded by a body of water, ocean, you know, the ocean stuff. And then he showed me in the middle of the map, the number 40 keep on popping three times. I see 40, 40, 40 in the middle of the map. I don't know if that means 40, 40 of the state would be affected by a major disaster. Oh, I don't know. You guys could um, let me know your opinion or something like that because you guys could give me, <laughs> you know, your opinion also. I would appreciate it because the Lord be showing you a lot of stuff. Some I understand, some I don't. So we're here to learn from each other so we could be ready for the Lord because it's coming is any time not 
he will come but is the the question is is when or oh, the hour because it's it's soon to come jesus is soon to come people i'm for real ashley please with all that noise sorry people it's like um i try to record this since four in the morning and she working out and I will not record this again because I have to get my daughter ready for school. Anyhow, as I was saying, um, when I see all these things that's gonna happen after he shot me 4040 and I have it in mind and I was thinking to myself, I didn't say it actually to the Lord. I was like, Lord, um this is um uh, I live in Florida, I was just, like I said, I was thinking, I said, Lord, with Florida, after I was thinking, and I was like, Lord, with Florida, be affected, and he didn't even let me finish the sentence, and I, show, I saw him coming down in the cloud, and then, for some reason, something major was going to happen, he just switched his hand and pulled me up, he pulled me up, and... So I can uh, go up with him as I was going up and I saw other people going up right along too. And I was like, oh my goodness. It was so vivid. So I mean, the Lord was speaking to me for a long period of time. So as you guys can see, I just stole the shirt on me. I still have my nightgown on. And I just go on the wig and I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this video before I forget part of the vision or, you know, something happened. Since 4 o'clock people, I've been trying to record this, the microphone is not working, looking at this, um, my daughter waking up, she don't even, it's hard to get her up and she's already waking up, making noise in the kitchen, so bear with me, okay? <laughs> So, um, so people, like I said, you know, let's get ready because we don't know when the Lord gonna show up. Let's not keep playing games thinking we have more time. There's no more time. Jesus is coming soon. He never tell us the hour or the day, but as we could see all the stuff that's happening, He said we'll know when some are here by. That by the fig tree, by all the stuff that's going on, so we could tell now that you know he's coming because for the past like two months, all we've seen is dead birds everywhere, fish dying by millions with no eyes, cow dying everywhere. I mean, the in Florida is so many stuff that's going on. A shark come to the shore by like a hundred thousand. And right here in Jacksonville, Florida, this the the lake have all this white foam on it, uh, on top of the lake. They don't know what causing it, and a lot of fish are dying. If you guys want, uh, don't believe you could um, Google it, or you could um, search for latest news that happened in Jacksonville, Florida. You will see. I mean, it's. It's nothing to play with, people. Let's get ready for Jesus because we don't know the day nor the hour. All we know when all this thing is happening, we know that He's ready to come get us so, so we can escape this disaster that's about to happen. And let's pray for our loved ones. I cannot stop saying it. You know. Let's pray for our loved ones because, you know, the devil blind them. So they don't see the, the the mess that they're in. So we have to stay stand in the gap for them and pray to the Lord to touch their heart. So the Holy Spirit could do what it does what he does best is change people's hearts, you know, like he did us so. So let's pray for our loved ones and not only that, let's uh, pray for other people that don't know Jesus so they can come to know the Lord you know, as the Lord and personal Savior, as their Lord and personal Savior, so they could, um, you know, go with us also. Yes, I said go with us because 
this world here is just temporary. You know, our home is not here. So we have to be ready because, like I said, we have to live a righteous life in order for you to be with the Lord because the Lord is holy. You know, He cannot deal with sin. So we have to be ready to go with Him. Anything that, you know, keeping you from serving the Lord, ask Him to, for Him to get rid of it. Sometimes it's hard for us to um, do things on our own. Only the Lord Jesus can help us. Only Him and the Holy Spirit that can, you know, that can do the work. We can. We don't have the power ourselves to do it because if it's not for the, for the Holy Spirit, we'll be sinning every minute of the hour. So we have to pray that the Lord you know change our hearts and change other people you know people that we work with people our neighbors you know sometimes it's difficult for you to go up to people you know to say you know jesus loves you jesus wants you to change because they will laugh in your face but let's be bold enough no matter what you know if they reject our message okay if they accept it they thank the lord for them if they don't what can we do jesus told the um the twelve disciples, you know, go to all the city if they don't want to accept, accept you, you know, dust your sandals and get up. I mean, when they didn't want to accept his message, what did he do? He just said, okay. You cannot force the gospel on people. Only thing you could do is pray to the Holy Spirit to change them. Because sometimes when you're forcing somebody to ex accept something they don't want, they could, you know, even despise you for it. They could even curse you out. Even some sometimes the person wanna fight you or something like that, you know, so let's pray for them so the eyes will be open, like our eyes open. So, you know, while we have the little time which is not much, that we'll be able to go with the Lord. Jesus bless you guys.